<laughs> apparently my battery died so I do have a backup battery so yay anyway what I was saying is this is an avocado dyed doily um and I'm gonna spray some coffee on it if I can't find because I'm pretty sure I have pieces of doily somewhere even though I decluttered some I don't actually know where I put it so um, okay so yeah I might just for the sake of time these are all my scraps well not all of them I have more scraps but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Oops. All right. So, okay. I'm just gonna use that avocado dyed doily and spray some coffee on it. Say I oh yeah I remember them saying if you want like big drops go slow. Really okay maybe. And I do have a blow dryer that I could use, but I don't feel like doing that either. Okay, so I'll wait for that to dry um, up there. And let's see. What else is she doing? All right. Why my blue distress outside always turns green, but that's okay because it does not So I think what I want to do is leave it exactly the shape it is because it's kind of perfect for this. She now, got a mini one. Spot. But of course, this is quite flimsy. So I'm going to take another piece of cardstock and I'm going to glue the whole thing down because I don't okay. want the beige to look through the holes here. But I do want to cut out maybe just So I can't do it yet because my doily is what whatever she's talking and about I'm doing. To strengthen the doily. Okay. And I should pull out a gesso book page. Doesn't quite have the right size. Let's see. Just a book page. Super yummy. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Um, I'll be right back. Let's see how.
more scraps of paper. All right, let's see if I have a book page first. Oh, here's the fancy mask where I'm using the <laughs> using them as whatever paper. Ah, oh, here's a book page. Let's see. Is there another? Oh, here's a forum book page. Is this a book page? Yeah. Um, hmm. Alright, so... I have this book page too. That's too skinny. This one seems... Okay, that book page. Um, she just sewed it. It's been just sewed. I need to see if okay, these are bigger scraps of paper. Oh, here's some. Oh, more doilies too. Hang on. Alright. I'm going to take these papers out. Okay, then it's not. Oh, here's a napkin. This is where I met medium to napkin. And, uh, Another napkin, avocado dyed doily. This is another napkin um, on a book page. Let's see. Coffee dyed paper. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm going to use this one with these papers oh, in here. I do have gesso. Let me see. Can I get to the gesso? Yeah. Okay. Here's my gesso. <laughs> Where are my paint brushes? Oh, good grief. Let's see. I just need one. Um, hmm. Okay, that's not a paintbrush. Oh, I remember I put them in here. Okay, I'm just gonna... women drink haven't actually worked or did anything yet but um okay so she wants this pretty even to this and that's kind of a pretty cool back though all right so let's see She just made it. Well, this is actually kind of cool paper too. Oh well. And some gesso. I'm trying to see. Okay, she, I don't have any water. But to um, clean out this brush. Pretty sure that's not how you do it, but whatever. Um, alright. Okay, so now I'm gonna let that dry before I throw some coffee on it like she did. Um, hmm. Alright. Do I have some water in here? 
I do have a little thing of water. Okay. So I can rinse out this brush so it doesn't mess it up. Or maybe I'll just leave this as the gesso brush. Anyway, there's this. I need you to hurry up and I'm going to keep that because what did she use? She used I don't remember where I put the um Okay, so this is already dry, so okay, I'm going to glue this. I'll do. I think I will sew around it in that way. I will also be attaching the tuck spot because I'll just sew that right on top. So this is what it looks like once it's sewn. And so I had Aileen's craft glue, blah, 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 but um, I ran out. Vintage. I used it in school. So I saw this at Ollie's. It's here. extreme and Elmer's glue. 99 cents really so we'll see <laughs> if it lasts if not oh oh well i guess moving way too fast the and this glue is so coming out way too this, slow maybe this time there. I'll add this one that says Berlin using jet black ink oh she's so fast how cute okay okay so this dance set I believe was from action so I cannot link it unfortunately but as I mentioned in the other video where I used that wavy thing you can definitely draw some wavy lines with a marker or even like draw a circle and what the heck no there's always don't wrinkle. around it and now this will go here how cute no. is that he's wrinkling stop it he stop it right now i probably should have stamped this while it was on the postcard because that's how it would have been stamped right on the Oof. postcard i don't know why i didn't do so that. annoying now I'm thinking I'd like to add something else down here. This is still a bit plain. And I'd actually like to add some fabric bits to that. Some fabric and bits? I some that I thought might work here somehow. So I have this scrap here. I have okay. this beautiful scrap. Here is a a my bone folder. Well. And I have some lace. And I'm 
very flimsy postcard. <laughs> She did. She made this a pocket. Um, I'm not sure if I actually want to add this lace or not. Still with. Maybe the piece was too big. Oh, I actually don't want to cover up this fusion. I'm done this time. This is still wet. But I'm gonna yeah, that's better. The piece of lace was just too big, and I can see the sponginess, and it's all good. Now I could sew this on. Now I can't <laughs> because it would go through. But what I could do is take this off and sew it separately. With just a couple of stitches. It's probably better to hand sew this. Yeah, I'm gonna hand sew this together and then glue it. I'm going to make a couple of I mean, it doesn't look like she skipped any issues. I mean, any. Look, if she's just moving so fast. And now she's skipping, but darn. Then I'll take some textile glue and glue this down. So I think I should glue this down as well. Hmm, it's a bit like this is not, she says she's using this to make a tuck spot. And lastly, I want to make a little booklet to go in this tuck spot. But I have already chosen a few scraps that I could use to make it. Uh, so right like stop. With, yeah, so this is, yeah. This is Now I'm just going to tear the other ones to be a similar width and height. So these are all from my box of collage fodder pieces. It's another great way to use them. Sleepy. From Honey's beautiful paper. Need a piece of that in there. From Honey. <laughs> who made my other beautiful journal that I'm looking in for the Sunday snacks. Just okay. And finally, we need some of this. This is from Lise. I love this design. I still don't know how she made this. Lise, you never told me how you made this. My guess would be that she put some distress oxide on a stencil and then there. The strengthen that and then let me know Louisa I this know goes here okay, okay, actually she want she threw through some coffee on yeah, here it's so it's not <sighs> I'm gonna need to back her up because she's just too fast Probably is glue this on first and then spray my coffee. Then I would have sprayed this as well. Mm. I have some more drops. Of oh, coffee. nice! So Ooh, okay. There. Yep, that seems to work. All right, that was easy. There. I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, and I think that's what I'll do. I think I will sew around it in that way. I will also. Oh, now I gotta sew. Tuck spot Lot. Right what color does she sew it? This is what it looks like. Oh, once she it's black. So the black. I love okay. It. Um, let me see how much time is going by. Okay. It's like 20 minutes, <laughs> and I haven't done much, so I'm gonna stop it for now, and then, um, yeah, I'll show the next next video. I will show the finished product. And be like surprise. Okay. If you've never seen this right. before, 